We've updated our Rococo Maya plugin so that now you can stream full performance capture including body, hands, and face directly into Maya. This video will walk through the process, so let's get into it. So here we are in Maya, but the first thing we need to do is make sure we've updated our plugin to the most recent version. You can always find links to our plugins on our website, but we also have a link in the description below. You'll need to use the new plugin if you want to transmit hand and finger data from Smart Gloves. Install the plugin the way you normally would by putting it in the plugins folder or by installing it from within Maya by browsing to it. So here I have a rigged and characterized model in Maya. You can find tutorials on characterization on our YouTube if you want to know more about how to define a skeleton for retargeting mocap data. This model is also rigged with the standard Apple ARKit 52 blend shapes, allowing for facial motion capture. Again, check out our other tutorials for more info on blend shapes. Before we start transmitting mocap, however, we need our character to be in a T-pose, which it is, and we also need our character's hands to be posed correctly. Ideally, you want your character's thumbs to be oriented like this for the best possible results. I'll go ahead and reorient the thumbs now. Okay, that's done. Our character is set up, and now we can jump into Rococo Studio. I'm already in my SmartSuit Pro and Smart Gloves, and now I'll enable facial capture on my iPhone 10. Again, we have plenty of tutorials on how to actually set up this hardware. After I've done that, I can navigate to the Start Live Stream area of Rococo Studio. And here I'll enable the Maya Live Streaming module. I can also click this gear icon to check what port I'm using. So now if we jump back into Maya, we can type Show RSLM in the Mel bar down here. Make sure to capitalize the RSLM, which stands for Rococo Studio Live Maya. This will pop up our plugin manager where you can see what port Maya is looking for from Rococo Studio. If the port matches, which it does, we can hit start receiver and you should see your actor profile from Rococo Studio and the face. First, we'll connect our body and hands. Right click on your suit icon and click create HIK skeleton. Then right click on the suit again and hit map to active skeleton. So now we have an HIK skeleton in Maya that is being driven by our mocap live from Rococo Studio. And we can use the skeleton to retarget to our character. If we select our character and then select our mocap from Rococo Studio as the source, there we go. Now we have our body and hand mocap transmitting into Maya live from Rococo Studio. Now that that's done, we'll connect the face. Select the mesh of your character, again a character that has blend shapes. Then we'll right click on the face in our plugin manager and click map to selected objects. Again, you need to have your character selected when you do this. After you've done that, right click on the face again and hit auto map weights. Now you should be able to drive your character's blend shapes from the facial motion capture that you are doing in Rococo Studio. And there we go, we have a character that we're driving with full performance capture, body, hands, and face in Maya from data that we are streaming live out of Rococo Studio. We hope this video was helpful. This can be a great workflow for previs or to feel out the proportions of a character in real time. Put any questions in the comments below and have fun mocapping out there. Thanks.